Okay, so let me take you back to a little bit of geometry. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so geometry flashbacks. Let me actually do this. What? Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take a look at this first figure. Figure. The, uh, ah, sorry about that. Take a look at the first figure. The alternate angles, I'm sorry, the angles that are opposite of each other, uh, right here, are the same color for a reason. They're the same color because they have the same m m m measure. Exactly. So, for example, if this thing, needs a pen, if this thing was, let's say, 100 degrees, what else is 100 degrees? Four. Four is 100 degrees as well, right? And then since a straight line makes 180, 1 and 2 have to add up to 180, so 1 has to be 80, and 3 has to be 80, which makes those the same as well. What are the name of those angles that are opposite from each other? Almost. Yes, they are called, oh, sorry about that. They're called vertical angles. I should have written it there. Okay. Yes. So angle one and angle three and angle two and angle four are called vertical angles. Yay? Yay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. So um, that's what happens if you have two lines. If you have two lines that uh, two lines that cross, you get vertical angles. If you have two lines that are parallel, remember the parallel um, symbol has the two arrows going the same line. So let's say those two lines are both parallel, right? Then the line that crosses both of them is called the tr the transversal, the transverse, yeah. Okay, and as you can see from the transversal, it creates a bunch of vertical angles again, just looking at one line. But since both lines are parallel, then certain angles will have also the same measure from one line as opposed to the other line. So for example, um, angles that are alternate interior. Yeah, angles that are alternate interior from each other. Take the words and then uh, apply it to the angles. There you go. Yeah. So alternate means alternate sides of the transversal and interior means inside angles. So an inside angle would be like four, right? What is alternate to four? Six. So these two angles would have the same, same measure. So for example, angle four um, would have the same measure as angle six, right? The other set would be angle five would have the same measure as angle three, exactly, for alternate interior. Okay, so this one and this one. All right, alternate exterior, let me use a different color. Here you go. So an exterior angle is an outside angle. Give me an outside angle. One, very good, would be the same as seven. They would have the same measure. They're alternate, again, alternate opposite sides of the transversal, and then exterior is outside. So angle one would equal angle seven. Anything else? Yeah, angle two would equal angle eight for alternate exterior. Okay? Same side interior? Different time. Oh, let me hit pause. Hang on. Three. Uh, back to this. Okay. Um, same side interior angles. Four and five. Very good. Notice four and five are different colors. Yay. What else do you remember from same side interior angles? Supplementary. Yeah. So they add up to 180. So uh, same side interior angles are supplementary. Right, and examples would be think about four and five. So angle four and angle five would equal one eighty. 
right? And then angle three, yep, angle six would be 180. Okay? Okay. Uh, last but not least, corresponding angles. Corresponding angles, let me, let me put it down here. Here we go. Corresponding angles have the same spot on the other line. So, for example, number one is the top left corner. So the corresponding angle would, would be number five, exactly. And notice that, that they are the same color. So that means their measures are the same. So angle one equals angle five. What else? Let's go in order. Angle two is the same as seven. Angle three is... Come on in. Two and six, sorry about that. Two is the same as six. So right over there. Yeah. And then angle three is the same as angle seven. Okay. And angle four is the same as angle eight. True? True. Yay? Oh, geometry is so much fun. All right. Woo! Let's put some algebra into this. Okay, here we go. Given this information, find the measures of the angles, given that M and N are parallel lines. Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. The only information that we're given, though, is uh, the equations or the expressions for angle 2 and angle 3. Angle 2, well, M and N are parallel, definitely. What's the relationship between angle 2 and angle 3, though? It they do. So we know that angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180. Eddie, you're so smart. Here we go. So just plugging everything in. Oh, is that you, Max? Max, you're so smart. <laughs> and you're on YouTube now. Here we go. So 9x plus 9, right, plus 7x minus 5 is equal to 180. It's true? Okay. 9x and the 7x can go together. You get Yep. Plus four equals one eighty. Good. Sixteen x equals one seven six and divide by sixteen. What is it? This is eleven. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So plugging in eleven where you see the x, the measure of angle two is gonna be one oh eight. Very good. The measure of angle 3 is going to be 72. 72. So what would 1 be? This has to be 108 because vertical. Yeah. And what would 4 have to be? 108. There's so many reasons. Give me one of them. 3 and 4 are supplementary. Give me another one. And 2 and 4 are identical. 2 and 4 are the same as well because they're what kind of angles, remember? Uh, uh, Corresponding. I mean, you're so smart. All right, here we go. In a triangle, all the angles add up to 180. 180. Always, always, always. Okay? So solving for the angles of a triangle is easy because it always adds up to 180. No more, no less. So. If two angles in a triangle are 33 and 26, how would you find the measure of the third angle? Right, you just add the two and then you yeah. And that's yeah. So here's what Max said: add the two, 33 plus 26, and then take it away from 180. Right? So it'd just be 180 minus 33 plus 26 is 59. Is that right? 33? Yeah, it's 59, right? Okay. So taking away, how much is it? 121. Don't worry, sir. I make math errors all the time. If you haven't noticed, please tell me when I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. Ahem, blankety blank are triangles with the same shape but not the same size. S, 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 sim, similar, sim, sim. Okay, I can't spell. Let me erase that. Awesome. Silum, silum, silometer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, similar. Yeah, triangles. 
right? Have the same shape but not the same size. Yay? Uh, your matchbox, your matchbox cars are similar to the actual car. Same shape, different size. Yay? All right. Um, for two triangles to be similar, the following must be true. Number one, the corresponding angles have to have the same measure. Okay, that's what gives it its shape, is the corresponding has the same measure. And number two, the sides must be proportional. In other words, the ratio of the sides that are, are, that are supposed to be similar to each other should be the same for all three sides. So for the next example, oops, for the next example, um, yeah, the parts that are similar will help you find the measures of the missing parts of the angle. It should be pretty easy. Based on that first thing, right, what angle corresponds to angle G? Yeah, it's E though. Therefore, therefore, angle G has to have a measure of 53 and angle I corresponds to F so it has to have a measure of 29 degrees hopefully if this adds up it should be 180 right yeah okay all right there you go oh bless and check have you done it already if you have hang on if you haven't um, go ahead and give it a shot and we'll talk about it in just a second Here we go. Um, so, taking a look at this. First of all, oops. Select. Oh no, that's not it. Um, uh, yeah. All right. So let's keep that in mind for a second because I haven't been able to put number seven down. Um, real quick, taking a look at uh, number one. It looks like one is also fifty-five. Yes. Okay, why is 155? It is vertical to the 55. It's this line and this line, so it's vertical to the 55. Do you agree? Okay, yeah. The next easiest one, um, because the 120 is here, another vertical angle to 120 is, is 6. It's 120, right? Okay. Um, look at 8 and 6 and 120 and 6. Those angles are su 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 supplementary, so that makes 8 a 60. Yay? Okay, here we go. 120 and 5 are equal to 180 because those are same side interior, right? So that makes 5 60. Okay? Which is why if you add 60 plus angle 4 plus 55, that makes angle 4 65. True? Yeah. Right? If angle 4 is 65, we have an angle that's vertical to it. That is 65. Again, 55, 65, and 60 make the straight line. Yay? Okay. The only thing left is angle 9. Just oh wait, do we? Uh, oh yeah, angle ten is fifty-five. How did angle ten be fifty-five? Oh, right here. Yeah. Same sign too. Yes. So angle nine has to be fifty-five. Angle seven. Angle seven is where I found the most issues, uh, being sixty. But not really. Seven and five are same side interior, aren't, so those are sixty as well. Aren't eight and seven equal to each other? Eight and seven should be equal to each other. They are equal to each other, yeah. So that would be 60 as well. Right? How'd you do? 
Excellent. Okay, here's what's going to happen. You still have your cards? Yeah. Okay. I want you guys to...